Okay, so we've got a 2001 Sea Doo jet ski that we're hooked up here. We just uh, recorded this session giving our customers some uh, remote support. So we're just running through some of the basic systems. So you can see on this one we've got a few uh, memorized errors on there. Most likely just down to a flat battery. Onto the statuses, things that are on or off. This is a pretty old system, 2001, so there's not a huge amount in here, but. Uh, Give us an idea of what, uh, what's going on in this uh, jet ski. That's the activations tab, things we can view, switch on and off. So this is just a quick look at the last minute history where uh, we have engine speed and engine temperature. Various other options there in the settings we have a TPS reset and then back to parameters. We can see limited data there, it is quite a system. special adjustment so in here there are various different options again this will depend on the system you're connected to what's actually available and what you can and can't do the main things people here need really are the key registration is a common thing and change their con vehicle configurations as well there's some features in there that are useful So once we're in again, we've got these errors, we haven't cleared them yet. We've got some basic ECU information here, types of keys that are registered, learning key, normal key, so we can set those up. Uh, we can add new key, so a learning key is a restricted key and a normal key is a full power key. Uh, if keys have been stolen, you can just delete them all from the system and register new keys so uh, the thief doesn't have keys that work on your jet ski anymore. Or if just one particular key has been taken, then you can just remove that particular one. So, into the vehicle configuration, let's just have a quick look at that. Now, some of these functions may or may not be available, depending on how old the system is. This is a very old one, so might actually be available to perform within the ECU. So we've got some basic information there. And then in the settings we've got various things we can change. We can change the customer name in the system. So this is on the later models where it pops up on the dash. You can change that to the customer's name if they sell it on to someone else. And various things that we can change within the system. Engine needs changing, we can uh, put a new engine number in there. Maintenance service, so this is all for the service system, so once we're in the service we can clear the indications for that. Service history. Service reset and supercharge reset. So supercharge reset isn't available on all of them, even if you have supercharger it doesn't necessarily mean it to be reset, that's a function on a lot of later models. Technical information sheets, so these are the sheets that come as part of your secondary text back uh, text info subscription. So this is information we recommend you have that subscription at least for the first year of having the tool so that you get used to the little features that are relevant to systems you deal with regularly. Once you get used to that then you may not need this. That quite often helps and avoids a lot of uh, phone calls uh, and issues just from uh, not having relevant information. And then back to the 
main menu. So that's all for that one. Thanks very much. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.